Hey everyone, this is your Mini of the East, and welcome back to the Death Valley Reactions. And yeah, as you can see, my mess is. Yeah, my room's a bit of a mess at the moment. I'm getting my window removed, so don't worry about this mess being here for that long. It should be done by the end of this week, so no worries about future recording sessions being like this. But, anyways. This next death battle is Ganondorf versus Dracula. Perfect for the Halloween season. Now, before I get into who I think is going to win, I just want to make a brief topic on the death battle itself. Because way back during the early days of Screw Attack, like when they were still around at least, <laughs> uh, I think this was around the end of season one. This was this was around 2012 when they were doing sparse uploads for after they got the new animator. A group of G1s, basically the fan community, got together and came up with their own fan comic and fan death battle that many of the people that actually did the research and were dedicated G1 members for the community, who later went on to become researchers for death battle, went came together and produced a Gandor vs. Dracula death battle comic. It was an all-out war between them and their best minions. And I thought that was really interesting, seeing a war death battle and having two of the most well-known yeah, Dark Lords makes me think, yeah, I'd like to see an actual death battle like this happen. In the actual comic itself, Ganondorf was declared the winner. Although, again, this is fan-created, so we don't know the definitive part of if this was a legit way for the death battle to go, but we'll see how this episode turns out. But anyways... The whole death battle comic made me think, I want to see this legit and not just the fans. And lo and behold, almost like, man, seven years later, geez, that was a long time ago. <laughs> we are finally getting this full death battle after so many suggestions. Because the last time we got Ganondorf from the death battle was back in season three against Bowser. And if you recall that infamous moment I did way back when I recorded that episode, I was stuck in a freeze frame like I was holding a high note. <laughs> And to this day, I still have no idea why that froze up, but, eh, semantics. So, who do I think will win this death belt? Based on the research that was done, and Ganondorf and Dracula really haven't changed it that much in, when it came to their characters and their strengths and weaknesses. Maybe you can make an argument for Ganondorf with Breath of the Wild, but that's kind of outside the timeline. I think that's what they're going to be using, the major timeline Ganondorf stuff. And same thing with Dracula, because Lords of Shadows is its own separate continuity. So yeah, I have no idea who could win this. I might go with Ganondorf in this fight, but given what I know more about Castlevania now, than more than I did back then, maybe? Well, I'm going to watch the full episode this time, since I do like both franchises, so this will be another full episode review. Now, no, not review, reaction. Now, if you want to watch the full episode, I'll leave a link in the description box down below to watch the full episode and then come back to watch my reaction. So anyways, that said, we got 20 minutes to, for this episode. Let's go. Fame may be fleeting and wealth ephemeral. But true evil never dies. Mm -hmm. It just comes back with a goddamn second health bar. Ganondorf, <laughs> the calamitous demon king of Princess Zelda's Hyrule. And Dracula, the everlasting vampire lord of Castlevania. Mm -hmm. He's whiz and I'm boomsticks. And oh yeah, I keep forgetting that their weapons, armor, and Dracula from Castlevania also uses the same info Death from battle. the Bram Stoker novel. Millennia ago, in an age long past, mm -hmm. the Demon King Demise threatened to pull the world into blood and war. Until he got his ass slapped by this pointy yeah. boy in green. Undaunted by being, you know, murdered, <laughs> Demise cursed the blood of the goddess and the spirit of the hero to be forever haunted by his wrath made flesh. That curse became Ganondorf. Forever Demise. cursed. Good old Dorf was born to the Gerudo tribe of the desert. Thing is, the Gerudo were all ladies, and Ganondorf was the first male born in a hot desert years, ladies too, which automatically made him their king. Because reasons, I guess. Wait, wait. So he gets to be in charge and has the best odds on Tinder? That's my dream come true. Who could want more? <laughs> Ganondorf could. 
Jealous of the neighboring kingdom of Hyrule's verdant fields, clean water, and not being a godforsaken desert. Great king of evil. Of Mental damage with each people. reincarnation. Or, you know, just for himself. Being the reincarnation of ultimate <laughs> evil means you're probably kind of a selfish douche. And surprisingly, <laughs> his vile ambitions would be rewarded. Turns out, he was also preternaturally adept at magic, hmm. as befits an education from his caretakers, the witches Kaume and Kotake. From them, Dorf learned to pitch balls of electricity. Also gains the same powers as Agadem and Zan. Agadem was an alter ego of his, and much of Zan's power was gifted to him. Mind. Okay. When he wishes to fight from a distance, he can create phantom horsemen or puppets of himself to battle as his proxies. Or if he wants to get personal, he can use his dark magic to enhance his physical strikes, making him a badass at all <laughs> The reasons. warlock punch. He's a master with a blade. Sometimes two, and sometimes on horseback. Magical lightning. And sometimes two swords on two horses. Magic. 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 He was just a man, after all, though not for long. With his magical training complete, Ganondorf put his greatest skill to the test, his raw cunning. By manipulating the rulers of Hyrule and its neighboring domains, as well as a curiously familiar boy in green. <laughs> hey, what do you know? Weird coincidence. Yeah. Ganondorf gained entry to an alternate dimension called the Sacred Realm. Within it lay the Triforce, mm, a magical the Triforce of power God said to grant the wish of whomever touches it. The perfect solution to all your world conquering needs. Except, once Ganondorf got his hands on those golden Doritos, two of them jumped ship. See, only someone with a perfect balance of courage, wisdom, and power can wield the complete Triforce. If someone with an imbalance between those three virtues touches it, it splits. In this case, the pieces of wisdom and courage went to Ganondorf's enemies, Princess Zelda and the hero Link. Ah, uh, that's embarrassing. Uh -huh. But he did get to keep the Triforce of Power, because who needs the courage and wisdom shit when you can just blow <laughs> stuff up? That's how I live. Even on its own, the Triforce of Power and radically its improved God Ganondorf's God. strength and magical magic prowess, immortality, while near also elevating him from a mere Demon warlock King. to the Demon King he was always Demon meant technique to of be. Darkness. Yeah. He can turn into a big blue pig monster. The dark beast known simply as Ganon is a nearly unstoppable terror, gaining even greater strength without sacrificing any of his intellect. As a bacon wizard, yeah. he can obliterate foes with fireballs, turn invisible, teleport, summon darkness, and even distort the space around him. <laughs> Despite all that power and even successfully ruling Hyrule for seven years, Ganondorf was soundly defeated and sealed within the multiple realm. times. There he remained, trapped outside the spaces of reality, a prisoner to the void between space and time, never to return ever, ever. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I couldn't keep a straight face. Yeah, no, he got out like the next day. So nothing holds Ganon back. Depending on the timeline. He's insanely tough to kill. In fact, thanks to his part of the Triforce, he's almost indestructible. While most weapons can technically harm him, it usually takes a holy weapon like the Master Sword and Silver Arrows are usually required for the killing blow, except for the in the Oracle games. In his own castle, which, based on its size and composition here, and accounting for the hollowed out interior, should weigh over 11,000 tons. Even better, he later withstood a different castle exploding around him. Wow. Look at this guy in castles. <laughs> By measuring the size of the in-game castle model and assuming violent fragmentation, we can determine it was a blast worth almost two kilotons of Woo! TNT, a yield comparable to early atomic bombs. And even though holy weapons <laughs> can bypass his defenses, <laughs> he still survived being stabbed in the face with the Master Sword. You know, the literal blade of evil's Yeah, blade. so basically Ganon can or take a nuke to the face. The chest by one of the sages <laughs> after he was supposedly sealed away. He just yanked that shit right out and murdered the best itch that did it to Murdered his executioner. Uh, <laughs> you stabbed me again, that's what's happening to you. Right. Well, Ganondorf isn't just tough. He's powerful enough to punch shockwaves, tear up an island, and block out the sky with his magical malice. Plus, he can keep up with Link. He's even killed him in one timeline. And this fairy boy can dodge Beemos lasers. Which are literal lasers. They move in a straight line, burn instead of exploding, and according to the game's guidebook, are called lasers. Mm -hmm. So they should move at light speed. Based on the distance Link moved relative to this beam, we can estimate his own reaction to be about 11% the speed of light. Dang. Too bad old Dorf Lundgren doesn't get to hold on to Hyrule for too long. Still, you can stab and seal him away all you want. This big pork bastard will always be back to bring about your crispy Yeah. Device. 
That is a maniacal laugh. In the world of Castlevania, the universe is governed by two opposing forces, order and chaos. Hey, it's like you and me, Wiz. <laughs> no, I mean literally. As legend goes, for God to be good, there must be an equal force of evil to create balance. An evil found in an alternate dimension called the Chaotic Realm. This is chaos. But to keep his spot in the balance on Earth, Chaos needed to choose a Dark Lord to represent him. A Dark Messiah, if you will. As luck would have it, <laughs> a perfect candidate would end up choosing him. In the 11th century, Matthias Kronkvist was the strategic mastermind behind a company of knights, alongside fellow commander and best friend, Leon Belmont. But, as with most bromances, it got screwed up by a homance. Boomstick has yeah. some tact. His wife died from a horrible illness. Was it third wheeling? I'm sorry, Wiz, but you can already tell this guy is evil because his name is Math. I mean, I know we use Math all the time to do this show, but sometimes... Plus, you look at his clothing. ...darkness to see the light. Right. Anyway, Matthias's grief was so intense, he swore vengeance on God himself. To achieve his vengeance, Matthias sought the powers of God's polar opposite, Chaos. So he set up an easy six <laughs> I like plan. that broken glasses. Uh, step one, pick up a red rock called the Crimson Stone. It'll be important later. Step two, force death itself <laughs> to become your personal secretary. Step three, kill Luigi. Step four, <laughs> a vampire named Walter to kill Leon's fiance, cause misery loves company. Step five, let Leon murder poor Walt and have death shove his soul into that red rock. Step six, congratulations, you are now a vampire. Got kids, <laughs> I hope you are paying attention. From that day nice. forth, Matthias rejected his humanity. He became a vampire and much more. He was the Dark Lord, Dracula. There have been a lot of different versions of Dracula over the years, but this one isn't your run-of-the-mill. Mm -hmm. Count Vlad Tepes Dracula. This Dracula is the avatar of chaos on Earth, the opposite to God. Reincarnated so, like, Soma Cruz. The yep. He, he's basically the devil. He didn't have much time Reebok to pumps. Oh, right. <laughs> I love that little reference to that bank, NES game. A vow which would carry on throughout generations. But good luck taking down this all new and improved vampire lord. He's got your standard vampire loadout like blood sucking, flight, razor sharp claws, telekinesis, and even trip and balls teleportation. Mm -hmm. He can also exert his influence over all living things, whether it be mind control, body possession, or absorbing the souls and abilities of fallen enemies through his power of dominance. Oh, like Kirby! A demonic monster. <laughs> <laughs> Kirby. Also, Dracula can shapeshift to his black heart's desire, like into a swarm of bats, a cloud of mist, and a wolf. Oh, I get it. The opposite to God, because he's a dog just like the way Alucard is Dracula backwards. God, I should do science. Uh -huh. He's also a master sorcerer. Immortality, necromancy, pyromancy. Fireballs, meteors, okay. and acid Jesus Christ. From the sky. Dark Inferno is a huge ball of magma that will fry anything in its path, mm. and he can revitalize himself with another's life energy via yep. soul steel. Then there's his most powerful attack, a localized nuke of holy magic, the demonic Megiddo. With all these powers, it's no wonder Europe trembled at his presence for centuries, though perhaps their fears were unfounded. Yeah, despite being living chaos or whatever, Dracula was sometimes a pretty chill guy. He even got himself married and had a kid. Then again, kids are also the embodiment of chaos. <laughs> Sadly, the people of a nearby church grew suspect of his wife, accusing her of witchcraft. So yep. they burned her at the stake, and Dracula swore vengeance upon the god they followed as... Wait, 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 wait. Did he just get a total repeat of his backstory? Man, this guy can't catch a break. Mm -hmm. He was even forced to battle multiple descendants of Belmont, many of whom would actually defeat him. Well, sort of. Turns out Dracula is a much tougher vampire to kill than lame old Walter. Even after losing his entire body, Dracula's soul remained tethered to chaos. Mm -hmm. Thus, he would be resurrected every 100 years. When he wants to go all out, he can draw from the power of the chaotic realm and transform into one of many awesome monsters. Like a giant demon, a giant demon bird, a giant <laughs> demon head, and a giant <laughs> demon head in a painting that vomits out bats. Dracula can punch hard enough to rend stone, move quick enough to catch arrows out of thin air, 
and even warp the fabric of reality itself. <laughs> Wait, where is that sound familiar? Strike, get blasted <laughs> by an enormous meteor, and even get crushed under the weight of his fortress, a.k.a. Let's get to Castlevania. Castlevania. He only did so By after measuring the, cast... the size of okay. Castlevania on the game's official art, we know it should weigh around 2 million tons. Even then, Dracula has regenerated his body from decapitation, a mess of blood, and even full-on disintegration. So how the hell does he keep getting killed by everyone from Discount Conan to the Ghost of Weeb's past? Naturally, with the help of holy weapons, which Dracula is certainly not a fan of. Mm -hmm. Also, even when he's turned his body into some misty vape clouds, he keeps his head vulnerable. Because video games. Mm -hmm. Or more precisely, his hubris. Dracula's blatant arrogance would lead to his ultimate downfall allowing his enemies to sever his connection to the chaotic realm and thus end his cycle of resurrections. So instead, he was reincarnated into a white-haired anime boy with the power of friendship, Soma Cruz, <laughs> who turned out to be just as powerful as Dracula Classic, like when he dodged beams of light or when he defeated chaos itself. Dracula's influence and power would never truly end. Even 10,000 years into the future, his bloodline continues to strike terror into the hearts of men. As long as good and evil exist... Hold up! That's his kid? What the hell happened to him? Ahem, no ordinary man can stand up to the... So many non cannons that they're to the take into account. Behold my Oh, this is going to be a doozy. Oh. Oh boy. So with all that said, who do I think is going to be the victor in this fight? Both Ganondorf and Dracula have very powerful feats of defense, strength, and magic. <sighs> they can only be killed by holy weapons. And they're mostly invulnerable. Can also talk about the fabric of reality. But the only character that's actually has used holy weapons in the past is Ganondorf. He even has light based magic to his disposal. The same light magic that could be reflected thanks to Link's Master Sword. So, again, I think I'm going to have to give this to Ganondorf. He's the only one that has an accessibility that can take down Dracula, whose one major weakness is holy weapons. But, we'll see. Alright, with that said, let's begin this fight in 3, 2, 1. As it loads. <laughs> Take your time. All right, all right the there we go. Are set, and we've run the data through all possibilities. It's, it's time, time for a death battle. battle! All righty. And of course, we got to do this in Castlevania. Already liking the 3D look. Ooh. Using the Smash Ultimate model. <laughs> oh, it's got the wine glass and everything. <laughs> All castle is lost, vampire. No man can challenge my power. <laughs> wow. A, man, a miserable pile of secrets. <laughs> Ooh. Not wasting any time, Ganon. <laughs> Yeah, I'm already loving this animation. Ooh, bitch slapped. <laughs> Ooh, right to the gut. <laughs> Man, I love this. Pretty creepy in parts too. <laughs> oh. <laughs> The Medusa heads. <laughs> Man, that is gruesome. Mm. Yep, this definitely feels like a creepy Halloween death battle. Whew. 
Oh, trying to suck his blood? Nope. Not taking that. <laughs> yep. He's not going to let that happen. Oof. Oh, <laughs> nice dark crab. Ooh. Another warlock punch. Okay, there's light magic. Resurrect it. There's a sword. Woo! Yep. That's not going to take him down easily. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wait, we still got Ganon. Woo! Come on, where's Ganon? Ooh! Oof! Dang! Yep, here we go! Here's Ganon! <laughs> yeah! Oof! Go on, Ganon! You got this! Come on! Ow! Mmm! Come on, you got a means to end this! Uh, Megiddo Flame! This castle's gonna go down. Yep, that Triforce of Power is not letting him die! Oh. 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 Oh no. Oh, yep. Here we go! Oh, nope. Never mind. <laughs>